welcome to the Random House Children's Books Classroom Library Book Buzz. My name is Kristen Schultz, and I'm really excited to tell you about some of these titles. We will talk about select titles that are perfect for your classroom shelves, physical or virtual, for kindergarten through 12th grade. Our focus for this list is visibility. How can we encourage students to feel seen in today's world? How can we encourage students to see each other? We've included a link to more information about each book. And of course, please reach out to us if you have any questions or want to learn more. Enjoy the buzz. Hello, my name's Adrienne Weintraub, the oldest student. Do you want to convince your students that reading is a superpower that we can all have? Look no further than the gorgeous biography from Caldecott honor winning Oge Mora and nonfiction powerhouse Rita L. Hubbard. The Oldest Student is a story you have never heard before because of its previously untold biography of an amazing woman, the life of Mary Walker, whose life spanned the Civil War and the Civil Rights Movement. At age 15, she was freed from slavery. At 68, she worked various jobs and supported her church. At 114, she was the last remaining member of her family. At age 116, she accomplished her goal that she had always dreamt of. She learned to read. Mary Walker is proof for your students, especially struggling readers, that you should never give up on a dream. With five-star reviews, this is an absolute must for your nonfiction shelf and ideal for story time with a class that could use some encouragement. Download our classroom activities for the oldest student and make Mary Walker an icon in your classroom. Just like me. This bright picture book filled with fun, free verse poetry will speak directly to any child who picks it up. It's an ode to being yourself, a celebration of unique you-ness, and with a diverse cast of characters, every child will see themselves in at least one of these poems. This book lends itself to reflection, but is also perfect for a fun read aloud with a powerful message. Vanessa Brantley Newton's energetic poems will make students want to write too. This is the perfect book to explore reflective creative writing activities and fun free writes. Download the resource guides for Just Like Me. Our Friend Hedgehog by Caldecott Honor winner Lauren Castillo. This is Winnie the Pooh for a new generation, filled with adorably illustrated woodland animals who know the value of friendship and are, all, and are ready to muster up courage for the sake of another. It has received three star reviews with Kirkus calling it an outstanding new, picture, new chapter book with a cozy feel of a classic. What, a really, what I really love about this book though is that it meets a critical need. This is a perfect book for students who can read picture books independently, but are just starting out on traditional chapter books. If you're looking for, an, for a developmentally appropriate bridge between the two, this is a book to add to your bookshelf. This is also perfect for a cozy story time, so add it to your read aloud lineup. Reading one or two chapters per sitting, and students will be asking you to keep going. All are welcome. Building community in classrooms is no easy task during a normal year, but creating a sense of belonging in classrooms that are hybrid or virtual is a new challenge. This classroom favorite, All Are Welcome, is the perfect book for building community since it acknowledges and makes students feel welcome in the virtual or in-person classroom. All Are Welcome by Alexandra Penn. Kaufman shares a message of inclusion as it follows a diverse class through their fictional day. Use it to set the culture of your classroom, one that is accepting, but also use it as a springboard for activities to get to know students, ones that make students feel seen and cultivated a, a sense of belonging. Download our classroom activities resources for all are welcome. and how to solve a problem. Sometimes students get stuck on getting stuck. How to Solve a Problem is a nonfiction book with a message for developing a growth mindset. 
even better, it's coming from someone who has had plenty of experience with failing, with falling and then getting back up. Rock climbing champion and Olympic contender, Ashima Shirashai, reflects on how, the, how she handles setbacks and treats it in, as information to move her forward. How to Solve a Problem has received two star reviews, with Kirkus calling it an excellent guide for young readers to try, try again. Read this book aloud and teach a lesson on growth mindset. Also, add this to your classroom bookshelf so you have it available for when students are feeling hung up on their mistakes. Download our activities for how to solve a problem in the resource hub. Hi, my name is Erica, um, and I'm here to talk about Isaiah Dunn is my hero. <clears throat> Isaiah Dunn is my hero is an own voices coming of age story that explores important issues like homelessness, death, and grief. Isaiah's father has recently passed away, and he finds solace in his father's poetry. The book is a wonderfully complex story about finding your inner strength and redemption against great odds. Isaiah Dunn is, is My Hero is based on Kelly Baptiste's uh, contribution to the WNDB anthology, Flying Lessons and Other Stories. Teachers hoping to expand readership to larger novels are sure to find this story an easy transition. Clean Getaway. Clean Getaway is a funny, authentic story about a grandson and his grandmother on a cross-country trip in an RV. It may or may not involve some sort of kidnapping, but it's also a story that teaches readers about the Green Book and the civil rights and about fighting back for love and family. The Educator's Guide includes additional topics for discussion, so it's a useful tool for cross-curricular connections with social studies. Clean Getaway received its first star review from Publishers Weekly, who called it an absolute firecracker of a book and a must-have for children's collections. History Smashers Women's Right to Vote. Uncover the hidden truths behind history's great stories. Kate Messner makes history hip with this new series, incorporating illustrations, photos, and graphic panels into this super informative history books. These are perfect for kids who are aging out of the Who Was slash Is series and those who love Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales. They cover a variety of topics and are a great introduction to media or nonfiction. They can be used as classroom resources or for readers who enjoy nonfiction books. Doodleville. Art comes to life in this new series from award-winning graphic novel author Chad Sell. Drew has many doodle friends who all reside in, where else, Doodleville. Some of them are mischievous and others mirror her emotions. When one of her creations gets a bit out of control, it's up to Drew, her friends, and her superhero doodle likeness to save the day. Doodleville is a coming of age tale, an art lesson, and a story that tackles mental health issues in completely accessible and engaging ways. It's a perfect independent reading book and it's very useful entry point for conversations about social emotional learning. It's Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. This inspirational middle grade memoir is based on Trevor Noah's best-selling and unanimously well-received adult memoir, Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood. Trevor Noah gives readers the why and how of apartheid and what black Af South Africans endured. The youngification also includes extra back matter that consists of a detailed and accessible summary of, history, of the history of apartheid. Teachers and librarians will be eager for kids to discover this electrifying and inspiring story where love, humor, and resilience can carry one through difficult circumstances. This book is perfect for social media units, sorry, social studies units, and can be used as an entry point to discuss of race relations in our own country. A discussion guide can be found on our resources page. Hi there, my name is Natalie Capagrusi, and I'm here to talk to you about books that are perfect for grades seven through nine. This Is My America is a compulsively readable Own Voices debut by Kim Johnson. And it's an updated companion for To Kill a Mockingbird, so you'll need this in your classroom library. It holds a mirror up to society with its discussion of racism's deep roots and police and community relations. It's told from the perspective of Tracy, a black 17-year-old girl who was already working to save her wrongly imprisoned father from death row when her brother becomes the prime suspect in a murder case. Your budding social activists will see themselves in, will see themselves 
in the protagonist featured on the gorgeous cover, and readers might even be inspired to organize a Know Your Rights workshop in their community, just like Tracy does. You'll also have to keep this in mind for students who can't get enough crime fiction. It's emotional and timely, but it's also a very twisty YA that reads like a thriller. Shelf Awareness calls it a necessary add to all shelves, especially those focused on anti-racism and Black Lives Matter. Check out the This Is My America discussion guide on our resource page. It will make your students consider which America do they see. Walk Toward the Rising Sun by Gare Duaney. This is a big feelings book, a journey story of struggle and redemption. And it's nonfiction. With forced displacement reaching historic levels around the world, the word refugee is probably not a new one for your students. But Walk Towards the Rising Sun attaches a human story to this word. Drawing on windows, mirrors, and sliding glass doors by Dr. Regine Slims Bishop, for some readers, parts of this book will be a window, an outsider's look into Gerdwaney's time as a child soldier. But for other students, this book will be a mirror, a survival story that resonates. Check out the discussion guide for Walk Towards the Rising Sun and other texts for exploring perspectives on our resource page. Assign it to a small group or the whole class to prompt reflective discussion. This next title is The Faraway Brothers, a book that will make you want to push aside the social studies textbook. It is a nonfiction young adult adaptation that just released in paperback. In a time when so much of the narrative around immigration is about the US government's response, this story refocuses to the human life at its center. Readers will follow two teenage migrants, twin brothers who escape from violence in El Salvador, make the dangerous journey north, and find themselves frustrated asylum seekers. This talks about immigration, what leads someone to leave their home, and it looks at the struggle to stay here. This is a great book for discussion, a relevant book you can pair with any unit about migration or belonging, and this is a must read for your students who keep up or need to catch up with current events. In a starred review, School Library Journal calls it a must for all young adult nonfiction shelves. I'm excited to talk to you about Dear Justice by Nick Stone. The sequel to the incredible Dear Martin, Nick Stone's Dear Justice just came out this September and focuses on incarcerated teen Quan writing letters to justice about his experiences in the American juvenile justice system. Schools and classrooms across the country are having difficult but important conversations about justice and race, and Nick's books are an excellent resource to encourage reflection and discussion. In Dear Justice, Nick captures the frankness with which teens speak to one another, portraying their humor, heart, and struggles through an honest lens. We've heard from readers ranging from students to teachers to district administrators, and they love this book. It's raw, it's sharp, and it's inspiring. In addition, we worked with Dr. Jared Amato, co-founder of Project Lit, to create an extensive classroom unit of both Dear Martin and Dear Justice. In the guide, you'll find book club discussion questions, writing lessons, and additional readings and resources to keep thinking and keep asking questions. Dear Justice is a must have for your classroom library and students will beg you to have Nick as a guest author in your school. Wilder Girls by Rory Power. My favorite pitch for Rory Power's Wilder Girls is to say it's a little bit of Cormac McCarthy's The Road and William Golding's Lord of the Flies, but with an all-female character roster. Now out in paperback, Wilder Girls focuses on three best friends living in quarantine at their island boarding school, and the lengths they'll go to uncover the truth of their confinement after one disappears. Yes, part of it's a mystery, but the novel focuses on morality, the layers of human nature, and survival. At conferences and events, we've spoken with so many English teachers who are looking for books to pair as supplemental reading with the classics so that their students can relate more to the characters and setting. And truly, this is a perfect opportunity. In our Wilder Girls Guide, we have discussion questions to pair it with Lord of the Flies and literature circle prompts in a book club with Handmaid's Tale, The Bell Jar, and Hunger Games, just to name a few. Readers of dystopian novels, speculative fiction, and books about characters who question authority will devour Wilder Girls. The Magic Fish. For fans of books like The Prince and the Dressmaker and American Born Chinese, The Magic Fish is a beautifully illustrated story that follows a boy as he tries to navigate life, relationships, and family. 
truly an instant classic that shows us how we are all connected and how stories can bring us together. The protagonist, Tian, loves his family and his friends, but he has a secret he's been keeping from them, and it might change everything. But he doesn't know if he even has the language to tell them. As Bolton Starred Review says, author-illustrator Trung seamlessly blends family history, fairy tales, and a 1998 coming out tale in this remarkable intergenerational graphic novel. For graphic novel diehard fans to readers who savor the literary classics, The Magic Fish will inspire students to find the words to tell their own stories. A Sky Painted Gold. Vibrant historical fiction and a solid helping of West Egg's frivolity blend perfectly together in this UK novel by Laura Wood. Similar to Wilder Girls, A Sky Painted Gold is a smart companion to The Great Gatsby, whether as an independent reading choice or book club focus. School Library Journal agrees, noting that readers who are not ready for the classics may find a satisfying escape in Lou's journey, and perhaps inspiration to check out the originals. But A Sky Painted Gold isn't just for Fitzgerald fans or foes. The strong female friendships, secret romances, and family complexities will catch the eye of readers of A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. We also have a full educator's guide available that offers reading questions and seminar ideas. Thank you so much for watching and listening to our Classroom Library Book Buzz. While we absolutely love these book choices, there are plenty of additional stories that you and your students will want to read and discuss. To learn more about our titles and information about book giveaways, author videos, and free resources, visit randomhouseteacherslibrarians.com and follow us on social media and subscribe to our newsletter too. Thank you so much.